Inside Trimble Business Centre, um, if we are wanting to do, for instance, takeoffs for material quantities, um, then if we are wanting to get a 3D model, then often we will just use the CAD drawing directly um, and we can elevate the 3D lines based on the heights that are given. So, for instance, here we have centre line levels every 10 metres along this road and we can use that to elevate the road and we can get our takeoff quantities done. If, however, we want to build a 3D model of that road for setting out, then often we want to use the proper road geometry. Um, so if I look at this in CAD, we can see the center line string here is basically a thrupney bit alignment. So it's basically it's a series of straights and that's both in the horizontal. And obviously if we elevate um, the heights based on the 10 meter levels that are given, then we will end up with a series of straights in our vertical alignment as well. So if we want to build a full, D, full 3D model for setting out, then we often need to revert back to the um, road setting out drawing as given by the engineers. And often the easiest way to create um, this is to basically start fresh. So we can go and open Trimble Business Center under corridors. We can choose create alignment. And if I just call this road two, and we can choose define individual segments. And we can just say, okay, and the settings in TBC are critical um, for how we key in roads in the UK. So typically what the engineers is giving us are changes related to the bearings um, with easting and northing checks. And then we're basically given the, the changes of geometry. So the settings that, are, that I would normally have set in TBC would be in the alignments editor and I have basically the line segment mode by end station, the arc segment mode by end station. And we also, when we're doing the vertical, then I would normally change it to these definitions here, um, which we'll come to when we go through the vertical alignment. So here I've split my screen. So I've got the road drawing on the left-hand side of the screen, and I've got TBC in the right-hand side of the screen. And if I want to, I can just copy and paste these fields across. Um, and I can just basically say, okay, the road starts at chainage, uh, sorry, easting, chainage zero at easting of this and northing of that. So that's what they call the POB, the point of the beginning. And then from there, we basically have a straight section. So let's just say it's a, a line. I've changed my settings to be degrees decimal, which is the way it's given in this engineer's drawing, but it could be um, degrees, uh, minutes and seconds. So we just need to change the settings in TBC to allow for that. And then here, all what I need to do is basically isolate where the start of my curve is. And it's a 31.129 is the tangent point. That gives me a check on my easting and northing. So if I just close my properties, we'll see a little bit more information there. And we can check as we go. And then you'll notice here that if I'm typing it in, it will uh, default to be tangential. But at any time, we can just type in tangent if we want to uh, make something tangential. And then we basically see that it's taken it to here. And then we have a right hand arc. The, the drawing here tells me that the arc radius is two to the right. And that basically has got a change of. The end change is going to be, again, I'm looking at the drawing here and it's going to say it's 32.424. And then we have another straight section. So we can go into a straight section and it's straight until 36.269. And then we have a left-hand arc and again, I'm just looking here and we can see that that basically ends at 37.564. And again, I can copy it across if I wanted to 37.564. And that's going to be a two meter radius to the left. And again, we can see it basically build up as we progress through. So if I go on to the next segment, then we can see it go through. And you'll see that it simplifies it graphically when we, but when we zoom in, then it properly draws it.
Um, so it's just a graphical thing that we were seeing there. And we can continue. So the next key change of geometry here is 86.619. So it's a straight leg segment all the way through to 86.619. And this is, gives me a check on my coordinate here. So I can see 231.287.367. And then we can do a check here. And we can see it's within one millimeter there and a spot on there. So we can basically proceed just by typing in the key changes of geometry all the way through our road alignment directly from the, the road um, designer's um, drawing. And the key thing is to change the settings in Trimble Business Center to suit the format of the data you've got. So that's a quick video on how to key in the horizontal alignment from engineer's drawings.